Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing you the latest method to unroot or unbrick your Samsung Sprint Samsung Galaxy Note 2 back to stock. This is for Sprint only. However, I will look for other various Note 2 tar files. I will mention that later in the video that you can download. You can follow the same method as long as it uses a specific tar file for your device. Otherwise, though, this is only for Sprint because I only have a download link for the Sprint tar. The first thing we are going to need to do is download some files. First of all, click on the link in the description of the video. It's Clicking on the link in the description of the video will take you to this website. What I want you to do is scroll down. It's going to look a little different. This is actually the Galaxy S3 page. I'm updating the page I'm posting on my website now. But you will see three downloads here. Let me make them bigger so you can see them. I'm actually editing right now. So you'll see three downloads, PC driver, stock tar, and Odin download. I'm assuming if you rooted, you already have the PC drivers installed in your computer. But if you don't, go ahead and download and install those. Otherwise, you need to make sure you download the stock tar and Odin as well. Download both of those files. So click and download both of them. I will post direct download links uh, so you don't have to wait or anything like that on the site. So definitely be sure to download both of those because we need them both. And if you do run into issues with Odin, uh, you can try reinstalling the PC drivers so you can go back and download them there. So once you have those files downloaded... All right, and once you download those files, you'll see the two, it should be called Odin, and then Combination L900, a bunch of letters and numbers there. Those are the two files. You will notice they are both zip files, so we need to extract those zip files. I highly recommend making a folder on your desktop. I have one here. I called it Note Unroot, so uh, my desktop is very uh, congested. Just So sorry about that, but I did call it Note Unroot. It's a blank folder right there. So uh, once you have that Note Unroot folder on your desktop, you can double click on those two files. You can double click on Odin first, and inside you will see a bunch of files. You can click all of, select all of them and click and drag all four of them into that Note Unroot folder. It's just gonna make everything easy, easier. Now go back to your downloads folder and you'll see another zip file, that combination one, that's got the tar inside of it. Your tar might be different if I post a download link to other uh, versions. This is the Sprint one at the moment. If it says L900, you know it's a Sprint version of the tar. Do not use this tar if you are on another version other than the Sprint uh, Galaxy Note 2. But double click on the zip and inside is that tar file. You can click and drag it into your uh, Note Unroot folder as well. That'll take a bit of time because it is a big file. Okay, so that file is done extracting. Now we can just exit out of our downloads folder. We don't need that anymore. But now all we need to focus on is this note on root folder. Uh, before we do start this, I do want to make a quick note that data might be wiped on your note too. So make sure you have everything backed up. Uh, again, if you're if you're bricked or it's not if it's in a boot loop and anything like that, you don't have to worry about it because you just want to get it back to stock. Uh, if you want to take it back to uh, Sprint for whatever reason, anything like that. If you just want to get back to stock, this is the latest method. But it might wipe your, uh, I haven't ran this yet, so I'm not positive. It might wipe your data. It might not. You might have to wipe data after uh, you run through Odin. I'll mention that later. But also, you might want to back up your internal storage. I don't know if it wipes it or not, but back up all your pictures. Uh, make sure you have your music backed up. Anything that you have on the internal storage, I highly recommend backing up as well. Now that I said that, um, you want to go ahead and double click on that note on root folder and it opens uh, this up. You'll see all those files that you already extracted. What you can do is right click on Odin 3 and hit run as administrator and then allow it user account control. Just hit yes and then it will open up Odin 3. This is uh, what it's going to go ahead and look like and this is what you want. Now what you can do is power off your Samsung Galaxy Note 2. And while our phone's powering off, we can go ahead and get Odin set up. It's actually very simple. You want to make sure Auto Reboot and F Reset Time are the only things checked throughout this whole video. Now go ahead and press the PDA button here. Select that. And then it should open up that Note Unroot folder. If it does not, just go ahead and click on Desktop and find your Note Unroot folder. Click on it, and inside you should see this tar file, uh, this combination L900 file that we unzipped into the folder. You can double-click on it. And you will see uh, the PDA box will be checked. It's got that file in there. Again, only auto reboot, F reset time are checked. Now we can go ahead and get our Note 2 all ready for Odin. What you need to do is put it in download mode. Press and hold volume down, the home button, and power button all at the same time. So press and hold all three of them. And then this warning page will come up. You can let go once it uh, comes up. And then it, you just press volume up to continue. And now you are in download mode. So once in download mode, you can just plug your... Uh, phone into your PC. So go ahead and plug it on in. Once plugged in, uh, you will see a blue box right there. It says COM4 show up. 
That lets you know that Odin does recognize your phone. If it doesn't show up, uh, there are many troubleshooting steps to Odin, and I'm going to run through them now, so make sure you pay close attention. If you have any issues with Odin, try a different cable. That's the main step. Uh, try a higher build quality cable. BlackBerry cables work the best for me, but again, other ones work. Motorola cables, HTC. Some Samsung cables work for me. Samsung's a little flaky on their cable build quality. So try a different cable. Try different USB ports. Try reinstalling drivers as well. So those are the troubleshooting steps. Make sure you try all those before you ask for... Uh, you leave a comment saying it's not working. Try all of those troubleshooting steps. So now, once uh, that blue box shows up, you got that tar file there. You can just go ahead and hit start in Odin. And now, uh, this is it. We can go ahead and let it run through. Make sure you do not unplug your phone or uh, shut off your computer, anything like that. Make sure you move the mouse about halfway through so your computer doesn't go into hibernate mode, anything like that. Just make sure it does not get interrupted and uh, let it run through. It does take a little bit of time. Uh, you will notice that it has a progress bar that will show up here. I believe a blue progress bar will show up. There it is. Um, your Note 2 as well. So uh, let it run through. I'm going to be back once it's uh, closer to being finished. All right, so it is just finishing up. It does have time remaining on here, so it's got about eight seconds left. I believe it took maybe around four minutes if I had to guess. You'll see the blue bar is almost completely full. And once it reboots, if... For any reason your phone gets stuck in a boot loop, do not panic. You need to just pay attention to the steps I take. Uh, but it will automatically reboot your device. And it looks like it is doing a factory reset, which is why it's taking us to this screen. Don't hold me to it. I believe it might just automatically factory reset your device. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So once it boots up, I will go ahead and uh, be back. So I'm going to let it run through this, and then it should just boot back up normally. I'll be back once it's done. You will see my phone is booting back up normally. I, it does look like it did do a factory reset, so the first boot, the boot up is going to take a little bit longer than usual. So just be patient with it. I will uh, get into some troubleshooting steps if you are stuck in a boot loop for any reason. So I'm going to let this boot up, and I will be right back. All right, so booted up just fine. It did do a factory reset, so you m most likely will not have to deal with the boot loop. So I can just go ahead and hit next. Um, run through. All right, and there we go. It has booted up. It did do a full factory reset. I have no text messages anymore. I have nothing. We can go ahead and check and see if internal storage was wiped. Go to my files. We can just go to images, and it says no files. I do not. Uh, so internal storage was wiped. I will make an annotation at the beginning of this video, so you will know about that. But you can just unplug your device, and that's it. So uh, there's really no troubleshooting steps because it does do a factory reset for you. Um, I guess if it doesn't work for you, just try it again, run through the Odin process once more. That would be how to do a uh, full unroot. You should not have any super user applications. You do have stock recovery now. When you uh, have the phone off, press volume up, home button, power button, it will take you into stock recovery, and that would be it. So hopefully this video has helped you out. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask, leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to me as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.